For today's video, I go over how to remove the center seat in a John boat. Alright guys, so the next step on the John boat project is going to be removing the center seat. Uh, part of my plan for this boat is to have a nice big open low deck in the middle. So to do that, we need to take all the rivets off the center seat. I don't plan to drill them out. I'm going to be using a mallet and a sharp edge to cut the heads off and then tap them out from the inside. Once this is out and then the paint is stripped, we'll do our leak test, seal all the rivets, and then we can get to painting. All right, so now I'm gonna get started on removing these rivets so we can take the center seat out. Before I get started on this, I just wanted to show you uh, how the whole process works. So basically to take rivets off this way is really simple. You just need something with a flat edge. You angle the flat edge behind the rivet, hit it a couple times with a hammer and it should cut right through it. All right, so getting about halfway through this so far, I just wanted to jump in with some um, thoughts. Um, definitely use a screwdriver with the flattest head you can find. That's gonna make this much easier. Think about this as if you're just cutting something. Aluminum is so soft, it's basically like wood. Um, honestly, a wood chisel would probably work the best out of everything. Probably just slice these off even easier than anything else. Um, you wanna get the head of the screwdriver as flush with the surface so it's a nice clean cut across you don't want to dig down into the rivet hole you just want to just slice the head right off if you do it right it'll look like this where it's just a nice flush cut of the rivets that is just an absolute perfect one that is so flush there's no burrs just slices it right off then once all of the rivets are off the seat you should be able to wiggle the seat to break it loose and come out flattest screwdriver you can find, flush against the metal, and just tap it through. You also don't need to hit it as hard as you can. You just gently just keep tapping, 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 tapping. You'll, you'll just start cutting right through it. Aluminum is a soft metal compared to tool steel, so it honestly should just cut through pretty quick. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and do the other side. Okay, so the plan, now that all the rivets are off, is I'm gonna go through and pry off the bench to any leftover rivet material that might not have been shaved off with the screwdriver. That should free up the bench to come out, take out the, the foam, which is probably gonna be pretty gnarly under there. I'm gonna go through and use a punch, one of these deals, and I'm gonna knock out the, um, the outside caps of the rivets, and that should leave us with some pretty nice holes to fill in. Okay, with all the rivets punched out, and I went through with the pry bar and loosened up all the rivet connections, this should start to come out now. All right, well, that's how you get the seat out. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and remove this foam block and start uh, vacuuming out all this nasty foam. Then I'm gonna go ahead and punch out the other side of the rivets from the interior. This is actually pretty cool. I'm gonna keep this because I need an aluminum plate to repair the toe eye spot up there. So I don't know much about cutting aluminum like this. This is pretty surprisingly thick, but uh, I'm gonna hang on to this and see if we can use it. All right, got this all cleaned up now. I'm gonna go ahead and start working on popping the rivet caps off. Um, 
I've noticed that if, even though you got a clean cut of the rivet head, the actual rivet stem is still a little mushroomed and it isn't just popping out easily. I tried just punching them through and while that did work, it took a lot of hammering and I don't want to crack any of the aluminum. So what I'm doing instead is I'm just using the screwdriver. Now that there is no head on it, I'm just shaving off the top of the rivet and then it's punching right out. So I would definitely recommend that if you have rivets that still have a lot of stem left on them. Seems to be more on the bottoms than the sides. So if you're getting stuck with punching the rivets back out after you've cut the head off, shave it off again with a screwdriver just so it's flush and it'll pop right out. All right, well, final thoughts. Oh boy, this was a lot more work than I expected. So don't go into this thinking that it's gonna be just a simple, quick job. Uh, you are gonna be hammering and you are gonna be punching. It's gonna take a minute. Uh, just be patient. It's a process, but if you follow the process, it does work. Um, final tips, flattest screwdriver you can find, flush with the metal. I would recommend going back and any rivets that aren't already loose that just easily knock out, don't sit there and smash on it for a while. Use your screwdriver and just shave it off. It'll be a lot easier now that there's just the post, there's no cap, so there's nothing you're trying to get under. It's just gonna be a little spike of aluminum that's just slightly mushroomed so it's not coming out. Another option is that on the outside, if the rivets are out enough that you can get the end of a claw hammer in, you can just pry the rivets out from the back end, so that'll also work. I ended up using a combination of all three of those methods. Some rivets just popped right out, just punched right out with the punch. Some rivets I needed to shave off and some I was able to pry out. I'm going to go through and rivet all of these rivets with some 3M 5200. That should seal these up permanently. If you guys want to follow along with the John Boat build, don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss the next video. If you guys have any suggestions or input on how we should build this, I'm all ears. I'm really not sure exactly how I'm doing it yet. I do know that I wanted a, a big open deck in the middle. So that's why we removed the center seat. So like I said, if you guys have any questions or suggestions, leave them in the comments and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thanks for watching.